everybody, so if you like that look I just showed you, then stay tuned. The first thing you want to do is wash and condition your hair and leave it damp. Then what you want to do is moisturize with your favorite moisturizing product. Mine is the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Then you're just going to go ahead and massage your, your little bit and your massage your scalp and your ends of your hair. This is very important. And then what you're going to do is get a wide tooth comb and you're going to part to the side that you want your twist out to be. So I like this side. Perfect. Then you want to take a section and you're going to separate it. And using your hands is better than using a comb if you want a more natural look. Smooth it out. Perfect. And then we're just going to go ahead and do a flat twist after we put it, put the rest of the hair back in a bun using an elastic band, a cloth elastic band with no um, silver things. <laughs> and then you're just going to go ahead and comb out from ends to root with your wide tooth comb. And then now you're going to flat twist. Trying to get as close as possible so you can see how to do this. But first you get two small sections at the top of the part and then you're gonna go as if you're braiding or French braiding but you're only gonna work with two pieces of hair the whole time you go down and as you go down you're adding more hair to the two pieces that you're using as you're twisting. If you need to rewind this part to see how to flat twist go right ahead but it's super easy and if you know how to corner or French braid, then you already know how to flat twist. And then once you get done with the flat twist, you're just gonna do a simple twist. La 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 la. <laughs> okay, then you're gonna hit the ends with some Curl Enhancing Smoothie or whatever moisturizing product you're using at the time. There we go, that's what the flat twist looks like. I tried to get close so you guys can see what it looks like. And the tighter you, you flat twist, the better, and the more defined your curls will look. Now we're going to go to the other side, and you're going to do the same exact thing. When I'm doing the front of my hair, you, if you notice, on the left side, I flat twisted, but I went away from my, my face. On this side, you're going to notice that, I mean, on the left side, I went, yeah, away from my face. No, towards my face. And on this side, you're going to see that I'm going to flat twist away from my face. And you'll see at the end how it's going to look on that side where I flat twisted away from my face. The curls are going to be away so they're not all in my, you know, face as I'm going through throughout my day. But you can do it however you want. Whatever you prefer. So we're just combing out and you're going to see how I'm flat twisting away from my face. So you're going to take two sections, two small sections off the top. Separate them. And even pieces, and then you're gonna see how I flat twist away from my face. And you're just gonna keep on going down, 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 going as tight as possible. The smaller sections, the better. If you want more tight and defined curls, the looser. If you want a more natural fly away. Kind of just definition. You're gonna keep going, keep going. And twist all the way down, just like the other side. And it's super easy. This may take a little bit of practice, but I promise you, you will get it very soon. There we go. So we're just gonna keep going around the head, getting strips of hair or strips of sections. And flat twisting all the way down, 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 combing as we go. If you see that your hair is getting a little bit dry in the back, there's, you can go ahead and get a, a spray bottle with water and just lightly spray it. And that way it's easier to work with. You want your hair to be kind of damp during this. There we go. Looks like we have two more sections. So looks like all together I had about six braids. 
Probably seven, actually. Actually, eight. I had eight braids. <laughs> so you just keep going down. La 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 There we go. And we are done. Yay. So now you're going to get some bobby pins. And what you're going to do is actually go back with your twist and retwist them together. And this is going to help elongate your curls. And it's going to be easier to pin them together and sleep on them. And you're going to do that all around. So you're going to twist all your twists together. Get a bobby pin. Pin that up. And I'm pinning it up because I don't want to, to basically flatten my curls as I'm sleeping. So me flat, like twisting this against my scalp is going to prevent that from happening. Alrighty. And we are going to go ahead and just secure any loose pieces, anything that we, there we go. So everything's secure and I'm ready to go to bed. Good night. Good morning. <laughs> it's a beautiful sunny day. And the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get some oil. I have Carol's Daughter Moisturizing Oil. And you can use any oil that you like, but this oil is just going to help define the curls as you're taking them out. And it's going to make it easier to take out the curls or the twists. So be very careful when you're taking out your twist. This is very important. The more careful, the less frizzy your hair will come out. And the most important thing about this is to make sure that your hair is completely 100% dry before taking out your twist. If your hair is just a little bit damp, you're going to see that your twists are going to fluff out and they're not going to come out right. So if you wake up and you still see that your hair is still damp, go ahead and get a blow dryer and leave it on cool setting. And you're going to go ahead and just lightly blow dry your hair or the twist until it's completely dry. And I say use the cool setting because if you use heat, it's going to straighten your twist. So you want to use the cool setting when you're, you know, drying your hair. But hopefully your hair will be dry by the time you wake up. So now we're just taking them out, fluffing. And as you see, this is how it looks. And if you notice on one of the sides, it is kind of frizzy. So what you can do if you really want a defined look is get a really, really, really small curling um, iron, just a curling tool, and you're just going to wrap around the curl that you see that is frizzy and hold it for about eight seconds and let it go. And definitely use heat protectant. But after you do that, you can see how more defined the curls are. But if you don't want to put any heat on your hair, just skip that step. So hope you like this look. More is coming soon. Please subscribe, rate, and comment, and have a great day. Bye.